1. The 1890 painting Almond Blossom was Van Gogh's gift to his newly born nephew and namesake. 2. Van Gogh arrived in Arles in the spring of 1888 on the heels of a late snowfall. Housebound, he spent his first week painting such still life treatments as blossoming almond in a glass and blossoming almond branch in a glass with a buck. Three, he produced just about a painting of a flowering tree each day during the first month of his visit, including some of almond blossoms. Four, the almond blossom series of paintings contained strong elements of the Japanese ukiyo-e prints that Van Gogh had been collecting. These elements include cropping of the image, bold outlines of the branches, absence of perspective slash horizon, and large, bright blocks of color. 5. Van Gogh's almond blossom was part of a recent Van Gogh and Japan joint exhibition of his own works and Japanese paintings. 6. After Vincent's and Theo's death, almond blossoms went to Theo's widow, Joanna Van Gogh Bonger, and then to VJ Van Gogh. The Van Gogh Foundation acquired the canvas in 1960, and it now resides at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. 7. In his May 3, 1890 letter to Vincent, Theo praises the almond blossoms, which his brother had sent in a group of works to Paris, as very, very beautiful. 8. Ironically the artist completed his final painting of the blossoming tree, an image of rebirth and new life, a few short months before his death by suicide. 9. Theo and Joanna hung the final version of almond blossoms above their infant son's bed. Joanna wrote to the elder Vincent that it seems to enthrall him. 10. Due to a fresh onset of illness during his work on almond blossoms in February 1890, the artist was unable to go out and paint the other flowering trees that spring, telling his brother Theo in a letter, Really, I have no luck. 